so by completing the square. Mm, like the completing the square. Mm, x squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now when we complete the square, we always look at the first two terms. So what I want to do is I want to get that 7 out of my way by adding it to both sides of the equation. And basically moving it over to the other side of the equal sign. So now what we have is x squared minus 6x is equal to 7. So now for completing the square, recall that we have we have to take the coefficient of x divide that by 2 and then square the result and that will give us the constant term in a perfect square trinomial so doing that the coefficient of x in this case is negative 6 so we'll take negative 6 divide that by 2 and then square the result so we have negative 3 squared, which is 9. So now, to complete the square on the left, we want to add a 9. But remember, this is an equation. So what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So I'm going to add a 9 to the other side, too, um, to make everything sort of even. So. Completing the square here, x squared minus 6x plus 9 uh, factors into x minus 3 times x minus 3, which is x minus 3 squared. And then on the right side, we have 16. So then, we want to solve for x, right? So we take the square root of both sides. On the left, the square and the square root cancels out and we end up getting x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, which is just 4, right? So, now are in our final step to solve for x, we want to add a 3 to each side. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus 4, which we can simplify since both of these are our integers, right? So x is equal to 3 plus 4, which is 7, or x is equal to 3 minus 4, which is negative 1.